Hello, for this lesson on cancer, we're going to discuss a little bit about the origin of cancer in our body, and we're also going to get into more of the medical terminology associated with cancer. Everybody has probably heard of the term cancer. You may even know somebody that's been affected by cancer, or you may work in a field that deals with patients that have cancer. But what exactly is cancer? Well, cancer is going to be a rampant growth of cells, and it does not stop. Normally, in our body, we have cells that obey certain rules. And these rules are going to be in our DNA. DNA is going to be a double helix of genetic material. And what we have in certain places in our DNA are called stop codes. Stop codes basically tell our cells when to start reproducing. All of our cells have the ability to reproduce. They go through what's called the cell cycle. However, cancerous cells don't obey these stop codes. Under normal circumstances, our cells will go through the cell cycle. One cell will divide and produce two equal daughter cells. When those cells are ready to go through the cell cycle, they will in turn produce two more daughter cells. And you can see how multiple times through the cell cycle leads to many, many cells. But most of our cells have a stop code built into their deoxyribonucleic acid, their genetic material, and it tells the cell after one, two, three, four generations, just as an example, that now you are no longer going to reproduce. However, our cells that are cancerous, they do not listen to those stop codes that we talked about. And so those cells just keep on reproducing over and over and over again, producing a multitude of cells that will start to encourage on other cells, other tissues, and they may also begin to move through our lymphatic system that we just discussed and proliferate in other parts of the body. That's why it's not uncommon to have cells that were testicular in origin potentially lodging in the lungs and manifesting as cancer in the lungs or in other tissues of the body. But this is how cancer works. It's rampant, uncontrolled growth of cells these cells do not listen to the genetic stop codes that are inside of the DNA, and it leads to many, many more cells than the body needs to replenish its normal numbers. It leads to many more cells being created, and they start to encourage on other cells, stealing their blood, stealing their nutrients, and therefore becoming overwhelming to that area. And that's what ultimately leads to many, many problems associated with cancer. And in some cases, it can also lead to death. Now, there are multiple terms associated with cancer that we need to discuss. Our first is cancer itself. Cancero literally means cancer. Okay, this rampant, uncontrolled growth of cells. The suffix O-U-S means pertaining to. So if we see cancerous, that means pertaining to cancer. Onco is another term that you will see very often in medical terminology and in hospital jargon. Okay. Onco means tumor. You will also see the term logi, or the suffix logi, I should say. Logi means the study of. 
So your hospital may have a department of oncology, which is the study of tumors. Now, we have a suffix that gets used very often, and the suffix that we're talking about is OMA, O-M-A. That's a suffix that means tumor. If we have a combining form such as osteo, which means bone, and we add the suffix O-M-A, meaning tumor, then we have the term formed osteoma, which would be a cancer of bone tissue. So you can see that we have many terms specific to cancer, and cancer itself, as we stated, is a rampant, uncontrolled growth of cells that ultimately is going to bring about issues with surrounding cells and tissues, and ultimately, in some cases, we can have the cancer cause death. Now, we're going to find out in this chapter that there are cells which are non-cancerous, but yet still growing rapidly and impinging on other cells and tissues. We call those benign tumors. Benign, B-E-N-I-G-N, means tumors which are not cancerous. We also have the term malignant. Okay, malignant is going to be a type of cancer excuse me, a type of tumor which is in fact cancerous. Malignant tumors are cancerous and they are very prone to spreading. These cells can ultimately originate in one area of the body, for example, the term we used a minute ago, an osteoma, and then they could spread through the lymphatic system to other tissues of the body. Okay. So, we're going to further explore the medical terminology and anatomy and physiology of cancer in this upcoming chapter.